Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. It's uh, too wet out to do anything today. Uh, we won't be able to cut beans even this afternoon, even if it decided to dry off. It's just too wet. So uh, we're back in the shop today, and we've got our uh, 1992 Tempty Super Hopper in here. And uh, we've been working on the doors because they crank really stiff. And... Uh, sometimes don't really want to crank at all and i'm tired of getting dirty looks at the elevator from the guy that unloads my trailer so uh we decided to bring it in here and uh, redo the doors on the bottom so uh we've redone the front one you can open it with one finger so we're going to show you how to do this same thing on this back hopper and as you can see right now it tough to open so by the time we're done you'll be able to stick your finger in the end of the crank and open it up with one finger so first thing we got to do is we got to tear it all apart so these four bolts have to come out to hold these two aluminum plates on each side with the bearings those come out and then uh, we'll take the torch and just burn these bolts off because from all the salt and stuff they're pretty bad so we're just going to completely replace those these bolts right here you actually uh clean them up with a thread cleaner and we put them back in and reuse them so uh we're gonna get some uh three quarter wrenches impact and socket take all this off get it out of the way and then we will actually pull this door out the back end of the trailer and uh, get it out and we will show you where you go from there so we're going to get this pulled out Probably should set that on the floor before we give it. Yeah. Hey, you want to sit down on the floor? Thank you, Dad Strength. You don't need Dad Strength in your shop, but it sure does help. Oh. Is that going to fall? Oh, I'm sure. Must be some really, must be some really good oxidization. How you say? Well, let me see your hammer. Hi, Bar Alex. oxidized in there so now that that's out now we can slide our door out the back 
Well, you can see how stiff these doors slide. Dad can't even push it out. Might have to go get my little tykes hammer and beat it out. Unless dad strength can grab it. Grab the rear axle and drag it out. No, I don't think so. Where's my little tykes hammer? It's gonna clear that flap. Yeah. yeah it's only gotta go up to here. Flap pulled up over. Okay. Got my little tight hammer. Here. I'm gonna have to get that little come along and pull it out. Yeah. That's too tight. That's too far to take it. So I've got my little Harbor Freight quarter ton come along. Oh good, you took that tag off. And I'm just gonna simply use it, pull the door open. Dad, you could probably push it with your feet now. Maybe. Once you get it off the where it shuts on. Oh yeah, there it goes. Not too far. I don't think dad strings ready to catch it yet. Are you? Not feeling it this morning? No. Okay. So, get that out of there now. Um, the last time I had a chain across the jacks in the front that rested on the jacks. It's stuck in that other place where it shut. Really? Yeah. <coughs> got about a foot and a half to go. Mm -hmm. Pull it out and let it fall in the tykes hammer. It's going. I'm sliding. Hang on, let me get my foot. There it goes. Got it? Maybe. About an inch. Oh, it's off the other side. There it is. Okay, just push it that way. Now. Just slide it on the floor. Okay, so the door is out. Now we're going to take it out and we'll show you how to redo the, uh, the rails on it with the teeth. And then uh, we will uh, get her put back in. So we're going to take it over to our uh, welding table here, slash 55 gallon barrel sawhorse. And we're going to start tearing it apart. Let's flip it over. We ain't working fast. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to cut all these huck rivets off and get them all cut off some have rusted and popped off and what we'll do is we'll take a grinder cut them off flush and we'll take a hammer beat on this and it'll work it up off of them and then what we'll do is we'll just take a hammer and drive the hucks out get our poly strips off these are poly plastic these are what slides in the rails of the trailer and are supposed to make it slide easy so and you can see these have been ground on quite a bit this one's, well, this huck's completely uh, gone. What happens is the rust gets between here and here. Well, yeah, it shows on that side. The rust gets in between there, and what it actually does is it bows these gear strips up, and then they're warped, and when you go to crank it, it has tight spots and loose spots. Yeah, and they're all wavy, and this is what causes your stiff trailer doors. So, uh, we're going to get a grinder with a cutoff wheel and we're going to get started on cutting these off and uh, get this door all cleaned off and we'll start over fresh. We've got everything new to remake these with. All we got to do is weld these to these, measure and redrill the holes, and then we'll show you how we uh, refasten them because we don't have a huck gun, so we don't rehuck them. So we'll show you what we've done to solve that problem. So we're going to get started.
So we're gonna start cutting these hucks off. I'll show you how to do it here. I got the heart grinder from Walmart, which we're trying out. If you watch my video on the heart tools, we are trying some of the heart tools out just to see how they perform in a more agricultural industrial operation to non see if they can, non-homeowner, a homeowner, I suppose, as dad's drink says. So we're gonna see how they work throughout the fall season and then we're going to do a video on how they did work. Battery must be a hair low. So now I'm going to repeat that the rest of the way down and then we'll be able to drive all them out with a hammer. So we got all the steel parts and poly parts stripped off the door. Dad's strength took a grinder with a uh, special wheel that we had for aluminum. It's like a Scotch-Brite wheel. I don't even know where that wheel came from. But uh, he cleaned it all up, smoothed it all off. Uh, what you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna check is to make sure that that door's straight. If it's got a little bit of waves to it, those will come out when you bolt the new gear strips on after we get them made. But if it's severely bowed or something, you might want to take it out, some blocks of wood and tractor and loader or excavator and try to straighten it up a little bit or something. Um, so now Dad Strength's gonna demonstrate to us how he's gonna take a Scotch-Brite wheel and the uh, die grinder and clean that side up since our other wheel went. And that's what you're going to want it to look like after you're done. So what Dad's doing over here now is we are going to reuse these gearboxes in this shaft. From this U-joint on is all new. So uh, we got to get this off right here. Some of these, if they've been replaced before, they will be welded on. We had one on the front hopper that was welded on. So all we done was we simply cut the welds all the way around, drove the old U-joint off, and then I welded a new U-joint on. So uh, <clears throat> we have everything brand new. The only thing we really need to salvage from this is this aluminum plate, and Dad's already taken the one off of this side, but we will need this one yet. And then we will clean them up. We'll paint them before they go back on. We're going to paint this surface before it gets bolted back to the trailer to prevent further oxidation oxidation or how, how do you say? Oxidation. oxidation sorry i can't talk so uh we're gonna get going on this and uh everything when it goes back together we'll get a new shaft and the new gears actually weld to the new shaft and there's no raised area like this in between actually that's a pipe, that's a pipe on the shaft okay so but uh everything will be new when we're done
There we go. It's off. Oh, that's probably why. It's probably rusting on the keyway. Okay, so now Dad Strength is applying a very thick coat of primer uh, to keep the oxidation down between our new stuff and the door. Uh, you'll want to use some of this Krylon Industrial Rust Tough Primer. It is, uh, it is for aluminum also, so it'll prevent that from happening again. The problem is when this trailer is going down the road in the winter time when you have all the salt on the road there's a constant mist of just salt underneath these trailers and it just eats them up especially this new salt that they put on the road nowadays so it just eats them alive so hopefully by putting this on there and sealing that all up between the two pieces and a good coat of this on the gear strips we should be able to solve this problem for a long time. It wouldn't even hurt to get under your trailer once or twice a season and soak everything down with a, with a good penetrating oil or something just to help prevent the rust. So uh, we're gonna get another can of this. We have one right there and he's gonna soak this side down really good and then we'll get our gear strips put together and we'll start reassembling this door.